Hello, my crafty ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a spectacular day today. Welcome back to day 12 of the 13 Days of Halloween Craft Series, hosted by Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, Elizabeth Garza from Live, Craft, and Love, and yours truly, Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocca Creative Designs. I want to thank you all for joining us over the past several days. It's been such a pleasure to make these wonderful projects, and I also feel that I've had a wonderful opportunity to get to know many of my subscribers better. Thank you for your wonderful comments, your questions, and also for faithfully coming back every single day and commenting on our videos. For today's project, I created Dracula's Coffin mini album. I absolutely love Bram Stoker's book, Dracula, and I fell in love with the 1992 movie, Dracula, based on his book. Before I go into it, let me show you the paper that I use. I use this paper collection by me and my big ideas. This one was really fun and it's dark and it's very spooky. I used this set, The Immortal Love Stack by DCWV, and for those of you who remember the movie Twilight, this paper stack was fashioned after that movie. The last paper stack I used is also by me and my big ideas. I love this paper stack because it's got so many wonderful glitter details and a lot of the images look as if they're popping off the page. This is a mini album that I created. It was inspired by a video that I'd seen a few years ago by Zanero01, I believe that's her YouTube name. She created a 3D project and inside the project had a little coffin mini album and she did a tutorial that showed you how to cut it out by hand and it was on a much smaller scale. And so when I saw that, I figured out how to recreate the mini album using my Cricut. So everything that you see here was created using my Cricut Explorer and it came together pretty easily. Although I'm not going to do a tutorial in this video, I do have a tutorial that will show you how to make this including the shadow box. This mini album measures 10 and a half inches by five and a half inches. I love this shadow box that I created. In order to create the depth, I did use the extra thick foam, black foam, um, and I just purchased that at Hobby Lobby. On the front cover here, I have several different layers. This paper is from one of the collections that I showed you. I did take black rhinestone and line the coffin, and then I took these black uh, pearls, black and white pearls here, and I lined her dress. This really is to represent a serpent, and I think it just really adds to the spooky uh, element of this mini album. And of course, she's lying on a red background. I didn't embellish the cover very much because of the limited space, but you know me, I had to get flowers in somewhere, and so I included these flowers down here at the bottom. We have this light gray this darker smoky gray and then this black and what I did was I removed the stamens and I put in these really pretty red gemstones and I think it really just adds a lovely touch to this mini album. This is a side. On the side I used washi tape to cover the spine. You could also use any other type of trim. What I was trying to do is match this border here and I think it, it really uh, goes nicely. This is a side, so packed with fun goodies. I used this sheer organza black ribbon, and then I have this cute little tag. It says R.I.P. This is from the Martha Stewart Halloween collection. So when I open up the book, on the left side here, we have this pop-up mechanism. And as I said, this book is really dedicated to the 1992 movie Dracula. So this says, Love Never Dies. I love this image here. It's really spooky. And then when I lift this up, it's a pop-up card. And back here, we've got a little area that says premium quality vampire blood. And these little photos here are all photos from the movie. So this says love never dies. This photo is a picture of Dracula and Mina or Elisabetta. 
um, and it says, I have crossed oceans of time to find you. We have a little quote that says, I am longing to be with you and by the sea where we can walk together freely and build our castles in the sky. That's from Bram Stoker's Dracula. And then we have Dracula as he's about to bite uh, Mina and turn her into a vampire. And then right here on the bottom, this was a little brooch that I found on Pinterest. And it says, between me and the moonlight fitted by a great bat. And so when I close this, this just automatically folds down flat. And then on this side, I have created a pocket with this beautiful red rose paper. I did use black ruffle trim and these rhinestones. These are on each of the pages. We have this little tag here that says Dracula. This is actually the front cover of Bram Stoker's book. We have a photo mat. This is Mina, also known as Renona Ryder, and I think it's so beautiful. And then on the back, I had to include this image of her dress. In the movie, it is absolutely spectacular, and I, I just had to include it. One of the things that I did want to tell you is with each of the photos in this book, I did treat it with, with some filter because I wanted to look really old and antiquated. So if the colors look a little muted or the pictures look distorted, that's because I did that intentionally. I wanted to give a feel of something very old and vintage. Behind here on a page, I have this black glittered spider, and I thought it looked really cool as if it was crawling out of the page. And it's really to mimic these spiders that we have here on this side. There are four pages, and each page has a pocket. This is the first booklet in the pocket, and as you can see, I've continued the roses, and this says bitten. Inside, I included more images from the movie. Each of these photos are matted on red that red rose paper and again you can see how spooky and eerie these images are. And each of the little booklets have this fun little tab. I just used a punch to cut it out and then I covered it with this paper. And this is what the booklet looks like on the back. It just goes back in here. In the next section, I love this paper. This is this beautiful green paper, and this is all glittered. I glued on this large spider here. I really didn't want to cover this paper at all. And on this pocket, I've used more of the black ruffle and the rhinestone. I created this little tag that says, pre-made vampire blood, drink at your own risk. And I've included this fun rhinestone on the top. Here we have a picture of Dracula or Gary Oldman and then on the back is a photo of Dracula and Mina. In the next pocket we have this lovely image and inside we have more photos of Mina. I just thought these were so cool. Uh, this is after she becomes a vampire and we have another photo here and this is a back. I just love this paper. It is so romantic. Romantic and spooky at the same time. In the next section, I've included a glittered spider web. More of this trim. We've got this fun tag. And then I've included this photo. I thought this was so spooky. In the background is the Dracula's castle. And then this is an entrance into his house. You can see a bat and then bat flying around in the background. And then on this side, we have a picture of Dracula. And I don't know if you can see it spelled out, but on the back of his cape, it says Dracula. On this side, we have another pop-up. And on the front of this, it says articulations. And it's got, uh, on the background paper, skulls. When you open it up, we have all vampire images. We've got vampire teeth. We have a hexen heist, um, a little skull. I found these images all on Pinterest. Our last booklet, we have the a photo of the forest. And then I've included these photos of Dracula. I had to include these. I know this is kind of gory and scary, but that's part of the thrill of the movie. 
And so this is him fully transformed with his cape on. And this is Dracula here with his wives. And then the last page, we have another tag. This is another view of Dracula's castle. I left this page as is because it had all of these beautiful glittered bats and I thought it was really pretty. I just glued on a larger bat here on the top. This is the back of the cover. I used this beautiful red paper and then of course my information on the bottom. This concludes my review of my Dracula's Coffin mini album. Hopefully I have inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will receive all of my future videos. Also, please come back tomorrow for day 13, our final day of the 13 Days of Halloween craft series. And don't forget to visit my friends Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking and Elizabeth Garza from Live, Craft, and Love. Thanks so much for joining us. Happy Haunting. <laughs>